In this video, we will see the Duda Website Builder tutorial for beginners. Let's get into it. Here we are on the Duda website, which is used to create a professional website. To create a website, first of all, go to the top and click over to start a free trial. You can enjoy a free trial for 14 days, no credit card needed. Sign in if you already have an account. If you don't have one, then you can get started with a Google account or with an email address. I will go with Google address. It will take only a few seconds to generate an account for you. Here we are on the Duda website homepage. Let's create the first website on Duda. Click over create a site. Choose a type that you want to create a site. You can create a portfolio, a landing page website, or a business website, or you can go with the lifestyle and generate an online store, or if you are just exploring Duda, you can choose I am just browsing. I will choose a business website. From here, you can choose a custom template for your business website. Here are hundreds of free templates that you can freely use. From the left side, you can choose a special category of website. I will choose this template. Just click over Start Building. Write a website name. Click over to Start Building. Now, you can see that it will start creating your website. Here we are in the Duda Website Builder. And you can see what my website looks like. Let's start customization. You can customize any section or widget of the website. On the left side, let's open the theme section. From here, you can change the website theme color. Choose any color for your buttons, for website text of different headings, images, website rows and columns, and background color. In the page section, you can see the already existing web pages, or if you need a different web page, you can rename or create a new one. Also, you can create pop ups from here. In the widgets section, you can add any widget to your website. You can choose a basic widget. You can add media files with the help of media widgets. You can choose any business widget, social, advanced, or blog. If you open the content section, you can explore the content library, business text, and images, or find and replace anything. In the website personalization section, you can create your own rules that are needed for your business, engaging pop-ups, blank rows with your design, or any rules according to your need. You can add e-commerce functionality to your website and sell anything online. You can monetize your site by creating members. You can check all your published blogs and also create new ones from here. In the last section of this list, you can check apps that you can use for integration with your website. Let's close this section. And now, let's customize a section. I will section this heading. You can see a black top bar is open on the screen. You can add styling to your website text content with the help of this bar. You can add links to the heading, set text alignment, and line height, create a list with different styles, set text direction, connect to data, or undo all changes that you make. Once you are all done, click over to confirm. Now let's move on to the button section. Select a button on the right side, you can see a new section is open. Here, you can change the text on the button. You can link any web page to this button with this option, or you can add a website URL, a pop-up, an anchor link, a blog post, an email address, and so on. In this section, you can see there are some popular platform icons that we can easily replace or add more from here. Just click over this image icon. And from this section, you can choose any image or search for your website. In design, you can check the section layout design. In this section, you can see a quote mentioned with a person's image and name. You can easily change these lines and the image. Just click over this image, and here you can replace the image with another or edit it. Also, you can add links and alt text to photos. Now, let's move on to the footer. You can change any section or row by selecting one by one. Let's select the email form. Click over the email 
and you can change the field type, placeholder, or checkmark required field. Now, let's add a new section to the website. Click over the Add Section option. From the right side, you can select any section that you need to add to the website. I am going to add an About section. Choose any section from this list. You can make changes as we did previously. Once you are done, just click over the Create section. In this pop-up, enter a section name. Choose Section Category and Section Visibility Level. Once all done, click over Start Creating. You can see that the section is successfully added. From the top navigation bar, you can check all web pages and preview your website on different devices from here. Search anything on your website. Save all changes from here. Or undo your last edit. From here you can publish your website. So, this is how you can use the Duda Website Builder tutorial as a beginner. I hope you learned something from this video. If you have any question, don't hesitate to comment down below and thank you for watching.